Hello, my internet friendos. Welcome to another video. I hope you like the color purple, because today's episode is brought to you by the color purple. As in, it's uh, featuring this very purple palette called It's My Pleasure from ColourPop. I will be doing this look as well as one other look with the palette and then giving my final thoughts on it. If you like the color purple, you should subscribe to my channel because I also like the color purple and I use it a lot. So this palette is kind of the companion palette, I guess you could call it, to the Ooh La La palette, also by ColourPop, that came out in October of last year. So when I saw they were kind of making a very similar themed but purpley companion palette, I was like, well, yeah, that marketing strategy worked because, I mean, I have this one, so clearly I absolutely need this one. There's just no way around it. If you're curious as to see the looks in this palette, I'll link to the video I did using this one where I used every single color in the palette to make a look. This is our newest palette, and as you can see, it is, you know, kind of a similar color story. If, like, these were smooshed into one, I guess, 18 pan eyeshadow palette, I could kind of see what they were going for, but they're two separate palettes. But they, I don't, they're like, I don't know, they're, they're siblings, I guess you could say. I didn't make one single look using every single one of these in the look, so I made two different looks instead, and I believe, uh, between, I might have to double check as I go through editing, but I believe that I used all nine colors in the two looks together, so, you know, I try. So with that said, let's go to the part where I put some purple on my face. Here we go. So to start us off, I figured I would go and do a good old fashioned swatch of this palette. I haven't actually swatched it myself yet, so I kind of just want to see how it looks. Either that or I'm just a sucker for swatching things on myself and watching videos of people swatching things. It's just, it's very satisfying. I like looking at the glitter. So without further ado, starting in this corner and working that way and like that. We have Kittenfish. Do or Doe. Ooh, yes, I think I like that one. Apologies if my swatches are a little uh, crooked. It's the angles. Pretty Cruel. That one's interesting. It's like a matte formula with little sparkles in it, but like, not like these sparkles. It's a different kind of sparkle. Bare minimum. Oh, that one's a little flaky, but ooh, yeah, once you pet it out. Earth shine. Ooh, that's like a duochrome. And chiclet. And then last row, we have Mr. Sandman. Fan fiction. And sleeper. And there we go. I'm pretty satisfied with those swatches. The only one that didn't come out real strong was fan fiction, but mats are just, I don't know, they're kind of tricky to finger swatch. We'll see how it looks once we start playing around with it with brushes. For this first look, I wanted to see just how purple I could take it. So I started off with a base of the matte light lilac shade Kittenfish and followed that with the much darker matte shade Sleeper all in the crease. This shade is really dark and pigmented, so I kind of went a little overboard on it, I think. I probably could have toned that down just a little. So, uh, yeah, I spent some time trying to buff it out a little bit. 
For my lid colors, I started with bare minimum and kept that in the inner portion of my eye. Then to switch into some cool toned purples, I went for the shiny shade Do or Doe and put that shade on the outer portion of my eyelid, kind of just blending it into the middle with the first shade. Went ahead and repeated that on the other side of my face, as well as went ahead and put on base of foundation. For the bottom portion of the eye, I originally did something different, but then I decided I didn't like it, so I went back and redid it. Same as the top, I'm starting with Kittenfish and just putting that all over my lower eyelid. And then took the shade Sleeper on a thin angled brush and lined my lower eyelid with it. I didn't want to look like too harsh of a line, so I went back in and kind of smoked it out a bit. I used Earth Shine as an inner corner highlight, and then used Do or Doe just on the outer half of my lower eyelid and blending it right at the edge back into the top just so it looked a little bit more seamless. I put on a coat of mascara and tight lined with a white eyeliner. I think this would have looked better with a more of a matching purple eyeliner, but I just don't have a good one right now that I really like using. So, eh, you know, it's it works. Did some basic contouring, nothing fancy. For my blush, just to stick with the palette theme, I used the shade Fan Fiction, which is probably the pinkest color of the purples in this palette, and used that as my blush. It definitely is still kind of purple, but it's, it's it's a pinky enough purple that it can kind of work as a blush. I'm going with a purple theme, you know? I'm just trying to purple it up. I used a pink and lilac shifting highlighter for the tops of my cheeks and any other spots I wanted a little highlight on. And finished with a warm purple lip gloss. This one is Sweet Nothing by NYX. And that finishes look one. So yeah, it's uh, it's very purple. This is indeed a purple palette full of purples that are very purple. And I like it, but I can't say there's much more to say about it than that. For look two, I wanted to play with some of the more neutral colors in the palette, if you could, you know, call them that. So I started with the shade Pretty Cruel, which in the pan, compared to the rest of the shades, doesn't look that purple. But what's interesting about it is once you start playing around with it, it is definitely kind of a brown shade, but there's still that hint of purple in the brown. So it really, really all blends together nice. I decided to use it on my eyebrows just to try it. Obviously, it's not a natural looking color for my eyebrows at all, but I wanted to see what it would look like with the finished look, and it actually blended pretty seamlessly, as long as, you know, you don't want perfectly natural looking eyebrows. I always do my eyebrows before I put on any foundation or concealer just so that I can fix up any mistakes I've made or carve them out if need be. And since this is a lot darker color than my natural eyebrows, I wanted to make sure I could perfect any little missteps I'd made. But yeah, on their own, uh, they look they look a little weird, let's be honest. I then use the same shade to start making a base color for my eyeshadow. It's kind of interesting to see how different the color looks on my eyebrows versus on my eyelid. But I like both? Whoop, well, we need to stop to have a quick kitty break. She was getting in the way, but being cute. And I just can't resist it when my kitty gets in the way. She's just too cute to say no to. I'm then putting the shade Sleeper in my crease, though having learned from last time, I was a little bit more delicate with it. Isn't she just so helpful? More now gently patting it on in strategic places as opposed to just kind of going wild. I realized that last time I didn't use probably the most objectively purple shade in the whole palette, Chiclet. So I need to correct that this time around and put that shade just right in the outer portion of my eyelid. I used more of a precision blending brush just so I could blend out the edges and not accidentally shear out the middle part. I then used the shade Sandman on the inner portion of my eyelid just for that 
extra sparkle. For my lower lid, I took Pretty Cruel and put it all on my lower eyelid and just really kind of smoked it out. Somehow this shade is so odd looking on its own and yet so pretty when you add anything else to it. And then went in with my thin angled brush on Chiclet and used that as the eyeliner. And just to mirror the top a little bit, took some of Mr. Sandman and put that on the inner portion of my lower eyelid too, just to match the top. And then had them meet together right in the middle of the inner corner of my eye. With both eyes done, I went in with a black liquid eyeliner because I just, I didn't have a winged eyeliner last time and I just needed it this time around. There's just, oh, there's something about it. I just love it. As opposed to the white of the last look, I thought I'd match the top liquid liner by tight lining with black this time. I also tried to tight line the top of my eyes, which I think I might be getting better at without my eyes just immediately watering up and going crazy, but it's a delicate process and one that is totally optional. Put on some mascara. I like the more rigid mascara wands in the sense that they do separate and define your lashes a lot more, but the biggest downside to them is that when you inevitably poke your eye with the mascara wand, and it will happen, oh man, does it hurt so much more and is way more uncomfortable than if it's with a normal mascara wand. That finishes off the eyes, so for blush I went with fan fiction again just because, I, you know, I liked it the first time, and eh, consistency I guess. I used the Lilac Highlighter Rocket Science by ColourPop this time, mostly because it was hiding in the back of a drawer and I thought I needed to give it some love because I like this highlighter. I did buy it 50% just for the name, but hey, it's, it's still purple. Now I could have stopped there, but I wanted to be extra, so I put on a single drop of the Cover FX Glitter Drops. These things are absolute glitter bombs, and I really only even needed half a drop for the amount of sparkle I got out of the look. For lips, I wanted a fairly neutral, cool-toned lip that would complement but not distract from the eye look, which is actually pretty close to my real lip color, just, I don't know, more evened out, I guess. I then put a little bit of purple highlighter on my lips, you know, just, just to add that little extra shine. And that's our finished look for look two. I wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out when I started, but oh man, looking at the finished product, I love how all these colors blended together so much. There you have it, two looks with this palette. I mean, with only nine colors to pick from, it's a little excessive to try to do too many more than that. I was originally just gonna do one look, but I don't know, I just, I did the first one, I was like, but I want more. And I was kind of out of time that night to do anything else, so. Here we are. Overall, I love this palette. I mean, it's a ColourPop palette, and I don't think I've had any ColourPop palette let me down this far. They just, mm, oh, very good eyeshadow formulas, yes. I don't think there's anything in here that really gave me much trouble at all. The only one that might be a little finicky to work with is this bottom one here, Sleeper, just because it is very darkly pigmented and very floofy. Floofy, that doesn't describe anything. But prone to a lot of kick up and kick back and being very floofy and powdery everywhere. But, you know, that's just a matter of me learning to do my eye makeup before I do my foundation, which is not what I used to do, but the more I've been doing makeup, the more I'm like, Ooh, yeah, maybe I should do that. The one right above it, Chiclet, also had some fallout, but like not nearly to the extent of this one. And I mean, a little bit of fallout, I don't care that much. Like just, as long as it doesn't stain my face really badly, it's fine. The most beautiful part is just, oh, these super, super gorgeous shimmer colors. This kind of like here, here, and here are all the same formula, it feels like. And then these two are like slightly less sparkly, but still very high shine, similar formulas. And I don't know what it is. I don't know how they do it. ColourPop's really bright shimmers are so easy to work with. 
I never have to like wet my brush to get them to stick. They just go right on, glide on, so easy. Don't have to fuss with them. They manage to cling to themselves so that they glide on, but yet it doesn't cling to itself to such an extent that it like creates a film over the top where it doesn't want to come off. They're really soft and they come free super easily, but they don't like clump up either. And I don't know how that happens because almost every other shiny shade I mess around with sometimes I'll eventually just sort of have to like I don't know, tear off the surface again to get to the shiny stuff because it got like too impacted on the top. And these ColourPop shiny formulas never do that to me. It's, I don't know. Now compared to the previous palette, which as far as I can tell had one, two, three, four, five mattes in it, this palette only has three kind of true mattes. And then it has this kind of odd in-between shade, Pretty Cruel, which is a matte formula with a little bit of gold glitter in it, but it's not the same as a shimmer formula. It performs like a matte, if that makes sense. So it's like kind of four, kind of three. So depending on how much you like your, um, your shimmer to matte balance, you might like this one more. Whoa, whoa, light show. That said, I still felt there was enough matte formulas in here to, you know, get done what you need to get done with the base and the blending and the colors and the yes. The only other main difference I noticed between the two palettes is this one has a shiny finish while this one has a less shiny finish with shiny lettering on it, but that might be a good thing as if you look closely on here, you can tell that uh, the lettering on this has taken a little bit of a beating and it, um, yeah, it just kinda scratches off now. Uh, this one might end up doing that too, I don't know. So yeah, I just feel like if you like purple eyeshadows and you just can't get enough purple eyeshadows, this is a no-brainer. It's a great deal. They're just, they perform beautifully and they look beautiful and um, I love it. There you go. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and if you haven't yet, give my channel a subscribe. Comment down below if you have a look preference, looks one or two. And stay tuned for another video. I just keep making them. What can I say? See you next time. Bye.